life, there is time for everything. Time to walk and time to rest. Time to sow and time to reap. Time to be born and time to die. These words mark the major cross of the report we have for you today. It may rather be on a sad tone as we bring you reports of 10 kids who lost their lives in an unfortunate incident of a boat mishap. Also, three people died and about 38 cars went up in flames as another petrol tanker caught fire in my two area of Lagos State. My name is Jola Nekweku and you are watching Chaplains, your number one investigative human interest magazine program on television. On the show today, we shall bring you report from Ijora Awori in Otto Awori local council area of Lagos State where 10 kids lost their lives while going to school on Monday 13th February 2012. From Otwawori down to mile 2. In mile 2, millions of Naira got lost over the weekend when a tanker driver spilled its contents and caught fire. Of course, three people died. It promises to be an exciting show this evening. Just relax. Details will come your way after the break. We start today by telling you that the elders and parents in Otwawori area of Lagos State are still mourning the untimely death of 10 school kids who were drowned during a heavy storm. Even St. Mary Anglican Primary School, Igbede, where the kids were going, still wears a sober look. Shafflens was at the community. We spoke to the community elders, the leaders of thoughts, and you can still feel the pains from their words. And we need to appreciate the Lagos State Government for immediate efforts done to arrest the situation. We have the report for you from Ochoawori. Two weeks after the devastating storm that ravaged Lagos and its environs, the Ojota community in Ochoawori local council development area is still in shock. As a result of the death of 10 underage people from that community on their way to school in Igbede. Our journey to Ojota, an island with less than 20 buildings, no pipe on water, no light, was a difficult task. Our crew hired the only available small paddle canoe, but unfortunately, there was no life jacket. The same fate that befell the victims of the storm. Reluctantly, we boarded. And for 20 minutes, we were on the waters. We alighted at Agege from where we started another two kilometer walk to Ojota. We understood that this is the distance covered daily by residents of this community if they must go to school or access the market located in Igbede. Look at, look at that guy that was, they are bringing, bringing down now. That boat I met. Okay, the boat is already look, look over there. Over there. Mm. So those boats, they, can, those boats they, they don't use half power to buy the. The life jacket. Mm. Maybe they sell one, one, three thousand naira. Mm. Look at them. Look at those babade. How much they want to? How much they are making here? How many people can this canoe carry? Mm. One, three. I think it's more than girls like. Ah yes, ten, ten people. Sure. But they can not see the ten people carry at, at once. They say okay, exactly. Now it will be three passengers that enter the boat. Now, now, are you saying that when they close from that school? Uh, we're going to see children, school children, enter this canoe back to their... Back to their... They are always... You know, there'll be small children. So that's what they do every day? Every day, every day. Every this is Ojota community. It took us over 20 minutes to trek from Agege to this place. And this is the distance the children walk every day to get to school. Monday visit coincided with the seventh day Muslim prayer for the repose of the souls of the dead. We visited with the traditional head of the community to commiserate with him and the community on the death of his wife and 11 others. Oh, 
Sharplands also met with some victim and survivor families. They explained their harrowing experience in the storm and the failed rescue mission. Of particular interest was this little boy who was inside the capsized canoe. We learned he displayed unusual bravery. He swam the long distance back to report the incident to the community. Sorry, so by the time Tamade be lari pe awon mo mewa ti ku so wa ri me mo kan la sha ninu ti e omo ni je okan ninu won o pe fa wa sta yi gba class o lo wa o wa ni kg2 oni pe ki jo ba ye ka ran wa lowo iru nkan ba ye ka ma ri mo ko fun wa ni school si bi bayi i dey need the town hall and again omi omi e je nkan to nje wa ni ya to poju bo ho ti won gbe fun ako sise ko da for the Ojota community, no amount of gift can ever compare to the possibility of having a road linking Igbede across the river. Done with our mission to Ojota, Sharpless also sought to know from the chairman of Tuawori Local Council Development Area, Mr. Bolaje Kayode, what the local authorities put in place to assist. After the, the incident, the marine uh, policemen, they took care. And they also assisted us in some area. So, and we've had a meeting with some of the officers that there is need for them to have their men at this, uh, all this uh, water side uh, area. And on our own part, we have decided to, to form a committee. And each community will be represented uh, in that committee in order to enforce these uh, uh, rules of uh, live uh, jackets. The Ojota or Tuawodi rainstorm disaster may just be one of the likely many challenges Lagos State and other coastal states may face this raining season, unless a preventive measure is adopted.